So, my series of videos on simple cooking of fish. Of course, we've got to cover barbecued fish. It's an area that I always have some trepidation about because it's really quite hard to cook fish on a barbecue, particularly big fish. Now, this is a bass, or sea bass as it's also known. Single portion, quite a good portion. So first of all, what we're going to do is just give them a bit of a sort of nice, almost um, decorative slash down the side, but it does tend to let the heat permeate. And now I'm going to season them, but first of all, I'm going to stuff them full of um, what should be fennel. Unfortunately, because it's very, very early spring, that's all I've got of fennel growing in my garden, and that's got to go in the sauce. So I've got dill which is sort of close to it and it'll be fine in the fish but in the actual sauce I want the fennel so I'll put some dill in here and what I'm going to do now is sprinkle the fish with oil lots of it and then sprinkle it with um, what I call my pepper mix which is a mixer of black pepper white pepper chipotle chili pepper mulatto chili pepper and Sichuan pepper. It's just a little sort of mix I, I just enjoy coating a lot of my fish and meat with. So I just put loads of um, dill. It doesn't sort of flavour it so much as it does flavour it, but when you barbecue it, it singes in a nice way and goes all black and sort of lovely. And So just going to make a mayo now. I like to make these things by hand. You can obviously make them in a mixer, but it's quite good to, um, to do it on, on your own. Egg yolk bit of salt, some vinegar, not a lot, but I don't know, half a teaspoon, something like that. Perno or Ricard in this case, pastis I suppose I should say. One of those sort of um, aniseed drinks from uh, Marseille. Just a little bit of mustard, I always find English mustard is the one for a good mayo. So I just whiz that up to sort of get it up to speed. And now the oil. I'm just using ordinary sunflower oil here. Yeah, and you know, splitting a mayo when you've been making mayos all your life is embarrassing to put it mildly. So I'm just being very, very cautious. The best way for success with mayo is first of all, make sure everything's at room temperature. And then add your oil very, very slowly to start with. If you put oil in too quickly, it'll just split straight away. And as you can see, it is beginning to thicken up. Yeah, you can see that the marks of the whisk are beginning to appear. So I'm beginning to feel relaxed about this one, but never be too relaxed about making mayo. So I'm just going to turn over now and add a bit of olive oil. So I just want a sort of um, suggestion of olive oil in the background. There we go. And now the herbs, chives and fennel. Chop that up quite fine. And that's a very, very easy sauce for fish, but I, um, I just love um, fish and mayo. Boozy, boozy, ready to go. So, I'll toddle off to my barbecue and um, cook the fish. I hope it fits, I've only got a little barbecue. Here's my little barbecue yard. Not very tidy, but um, it's just very convenient. I mean, I mean, I just do so much cooking out here because it's so close to the kitchen. Let's see how these little fish go. Not quite big enough for four, but big enough for two. Right, let's have a look. Oh, not too bad, not too bad at all. You can see what I mean with cooking fish though, the skin is so delicate, it's quite, um, it's quite hard to get it right, but um, it'll taste nice. Okay, I think that'll do. What's great about barbecuing is that everything looks a bit black on the outside, but they're still very, really quite, I mean, they're, they're about 60 degrees inside, so they'll be really quite um, slightly undercooked which I think will work very well. Where should I put that lemon just there, I think? I just think it's this combination of um, a sort of charred fish and this really lovely perno mayonnaise. Works such a treat. It's sort of lunch by the Mediterranean somewhere. Lots of glasses of rosé with uh, plenty of ice in them. You'd think, yeah, 
life's pretty good. 